What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D Two Wild checking in for another "What Would Tony Do?" Doctor Two Wild is in the building. I'm here today with various, uh, many, many questions. I was gonna go over. I'm gonna give quicker answers because there's so many questions. I think it's like 20 questions, um, you know. And I let them pile up. But uh, we are we're not shooting on the new camera. We're shooting on the old camera. Uh, I will be shooting on the new camera shortly. Uh, like I was telling y'all, many y'all before, those filters, there wasn't no filters on there. That was actually the camera, like the settings, I was getting them right. So just stay tuned, guys, and uh, we will be, you know, trying the new, new camera out. I won't be using it all the time. I'll be going back and forth because just depending on what I am shooting. But uh, make sure you guys follow me on IG, Twitter, and Facebook at TonyD2Wild. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, what would Tony do? So the first question is from that nigga Malik. It says, hey, Tony, I'm a junior. I'm 5'11", and my shoe game is on point. I can dress. I'm having a hard time getting with girls in my school. Like, every time when I'm off, one of my homeboys try to put me on with a girl, they try me with that fuck shit and say I'm ugly. Then they would say that I got the shoes and I can dress, but I'm not their type. But I just don't know what to do, and girls don't even want to talk to me. And I don't know how girls... I, and I know how girls act in Atlanta. Can you please answer in your next Doctor Two Wild and keep up with the dope vids? Shout out to Malik. Um, you know uh, that can happen. You know, uh, not every girl in, in the world. Girls don't think I'm attractive. I got all the shoes. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's really you. Really, you know, going through that. You really got to start focusing more on yourself and be selfish. Don't worry about trying to be with a girl or be all up in relationships and stuff just do you you know what i'm saying focus on yourself and that will draw the girl that you want you know what i'm saying um you know I'm, I'm single you know what i'm saying i i ain't really stressing it right now trying to do all that you got years ahead of you man i'm 23 and i still got time don't rush it you're in high school you got to go through you got to finish high school and then go to college i mean it's plenty of time to get girls or meet women and all that so just take your time you know what I'm saying don't don't worry about it don't stress it man and uh hey you know it's their loss at the end of the day stay fresh if that's what it is let them no you're gonna you're gonna get somebody eventually you know what I'm saying just don't worry about it focus on yourself focus on schoolwork believe me the women will always be there they're always gonna be there there's always gonna be different women in the sea and um just don't don't worry about it man Ashton Baynard a Bayard Yo, Tony, how do you stop them thirsty-ass niggas when they trying to tell your girl to hit them up? Because I know she only wants me, but I'm steady. To, I'm st I still be ready to rock the nigga block off on some real nigga sh real shit. But your videos are dope, man. Keep up the good work. Um, uh, quick one on that. Uh, bro, just don't don't pay no mind. I mean, obviously you got you got something good if that's if that's the case. You know, um, if you if you feel confident, or you know you if you trust her and know she wouldn't do you wrong, then there's nothing else to worry about flaunt that bitch around and well not bitch my bad but flaunt that girl around and uh you know that it only makes you look better at the end of the day so don't really stress it now she fucking around with other, ends up fucking around with other niggas or something or try to show that off and like act like she's the shit and that she control you or something and leave her asap but um i mean if, if you know for a fact that she only wants you then there's nothing to worry about you know you but sometimes you might gotta check a nigga if he disrespecting so you know but just keep it cool. It's yours. It's like me wearing a pair of Dornbecker 8s and everybody's like, damn, bro, I want them bitches. Them bitches sexy as fuck. Like, I ain't going to get mad about it. I'm just going to be like, thanks. You know, or, hey, you know, somebody's trying to get up all up on them and stuff. I'm like, back up, you know. Show me some respect. So that's really the, um, you know, don't take it too serious. Don't, don't worry about it. Strictly G, I'm struggling with trust issues. I had a bad breakup and now I shut everyone out. And it's been four years since I really had... Any confidence in myself? Any attempts on getting my mojo back? Thanks for the great videos, man. Seems like there's a lot of relationship things in these comments. Uh, Strictly G. Trust issues. I mean, hey, I see it as this, man. You having trust issues, you're only protecting yourself at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just say try to open up a little bit more. Uh, you know at least you you went through it now and you want to go through it later on in life there's a lot of evil people in the world a lot of people that don't aren't no good for you 
and the fact that you got a defense up is a good thing you're protecting yourself i just suggest that you know uh some people you're gonna have to let you're gonna have to take risk you know you can't cut everybody off then because then you miss out on a lot of things like but at the same time don't open up to everybody take some risk and you'll, you'll you'll find yourself you know getting your mojo back as you can say feral music number one this is a i can tell this is a tr troll this is my friend actually i actually know who you are ferris i don't know why you commented this Ferris commented on this. I'm just gonna actually say the comment. I'm gonna move on. I got this homeboy that always seems a little zesty to me. The other day we was playing Madden and he, st he stuck a controller up his ass. Every time I started, it started vibrating initially. I thought that shit was sp suspect as hell. However, I tried it when I was alone and it felt right. Who am I, Tony D? Has life been a lie? <laughs> Fuck you, Ferris. Miyagi SN. Yo, Tony, I graduated from high school in class of 2014, first, re uh, first generation, and I was 17, so I've just been working lately. I don't want to stay in one position for too much longer. How was your transition from high school to real life college, and what are some tips to move forward? Um, high school uh, to college, um, when I first went my first year of high school, it was I was just having fun that first year. I really wasn't in the books like I should have been fucked up and end up having to come back home and go to school locally. Well, I was, it was still in the same state, but I had to come back home and go to school. Um, I suggest one thing, you know, I, college is a great thing, guys, but don't expect that, uh, don't, don't think that, that the end of college, you automatically got a job or, um, that, uh, a job comes at the end of that degree. Like once you get a degree, they're like, here's your degree. Congratulations for your bachelor's degree. Here's your job. Now go do your, no, when you when tons of my friends are graduating now and they're like, shit, man, what am I supposed to do now? What, what what's going on like i thought i was supposed to have a job or you know what i'm saying no you know make sure you already working on that now if you're trying to work for a company or something like that then start getting it ready or if you want to make your own company start working on that now you know that's what i'm doing i'm i got my own you know i do the youtube stuff i do the music video stuff i got a production business you know what i'm saying and i'm working on my business degree right now but i already have my business you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day me getting that business degree, all it's going to do is give me a credibility, but there's tons of people that didn't get a college degree, like Steve Jobs, Bill, Gr Bill Gates, and they're the, some, was, you know, some of the richest people in the world. So work on it now. Don't, like, don't put your eggs in one basket on that college degree, meaning like, get it, get it, get your college degree, but don't expect that once you get it, jobs are lined up. There's millions of people with college degrees that don't have jobs. You got to, you got to think of something different. So that's my advice. Start working toward what you want to do. Find out what you want to do. Try many things. I tried tons of things. At 17, I didn't know what I was gonna uh, what I wanted to do. So, you know, if you feel the same way, then don't feel like you're behind. You know, it'll come. It'll come. You know what I'm saying? It came for me when I was like 19, uh, 20 almost. You know what I'm saying? I didn't start knowing I wanted to mess with film and all that till later on. We still recording, David? All right, just making sure. Um, okay, Eddie Swerve, 35. Tony, I just got a new girlfriend. I'm going over her house soon, and she told me her dad is going to stay in the same room as us. We're both 15. What should I say or tell her? <laughs> uh, man, you're young, man. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to direct you in the wrong room. Uh, wrong way. Uh, just act cool. You gotta build her trust. I mean, you're young. You're young, bro. You're not. That's not. If if I had a 15 year old daughter, um, I wouldn't even let no dude come over. Probably. I don't know. I don't know about that. So you you're lucky to be able to do that. Um, but, you know, speaking on a different level, when I was 15, and David, you know about this, Bro. David knows, um, I had a girlfriend, and her dad let me stay the night over her house, I slept downstairs, she slept upstairs, but I was able to come to her house, hang out, eat, we went to go see the Lion King play, and I slept downstairs, she slept upstairs, and I remember her waking me up in the morning, with some food and like her dad was cool with it i don't know but it was just weird 15 years old it was weird but it, i accepted it my mom was cool with it my mom dropped me off and she was laughing the whole way there uh, i was 15 years old that's kind of weird but just respect them yeah don't be scared of them but yeah. don't be an asshole yeah there you go that's it. <laughs> he's that yep so yeah um this you're lucky bro just take it as you're lucky don't take it as anything is weird you're lucky because 15 I don't know. There was not many. 15 years old, you're sneaking in girls' houses and stuff. Make me get killed. 
Riley, Riley Og, I don't know how to pronounce your name, homie, but shouts to you. Dr. Too Wild, I have deep feelings for this girl, and, can, and we used to be close and talk a lot on the day we made out, and every since then, things since, since things have went downhill between us. What should you, what should I, what, what do you suggest I do? Um, I call those, uh, one-timers, man. There's times when I've met girls, got their numbers, talked to them, like, one day, and great conversation, everything seems scary, and then the next day, it's like, they don't remember who I am, or they stop talking, or it just dies. Uh, those girls are girls that are craving attention from many different guys, you see what I'm saying? Once they get that, they feel that they get that, um, they got your attention, they're on to get the next guy's attention. Fuck them, cut them off. That's all I can say, cut them off. They're attention grabbers. You know what I'm saying? Once they they say, okay, I got him. He made out with me. He likes me now. I don't like him no more. I want to get somebody else. They're going to get fucked by some dude that um, doesn't give a fuck about them. And then they're going to be fucked up for the rest of their life. Move on, brother. Don't don't stay on it. I promise you. Just listen. I already dealt with it. Famous Amos 94. I'm going through my third year in college. And I'm pretty confident, dude. But I still can't, can't talk to girls. It's kind of sad. I avoid contact with strangers. Laughing out loud. It's a fear of mine to even try. Therefore, I'm not even sure how to go about talking to a female. Friendly or not, I would like to start getting into relationships. But friends come first. Any suggestions on how I should start trying? Okay, homie. Friends are always going to be there for you. Friends uh, friends come first in some ways. But in all honesty, and David Smith is behind me. And he will admit. Uh, for instance, David, we've, we went to college together. We've been growing up for a long time. We're homies. We we, we we hang almost almost out all, almost every day, and he might not admit this, but if David gets a girlfriend, he's not gonna talk to me. <laughs> he's gonna yeah, disappear. Because pussy comes first, I'm still gonna fuck with him. Okay. But if I'm about to go get some pussy. I'm about to go get some pussy. He so can't hit on me. so I can't do the same thing. so let's just let's stop it there. And some of you guys, the young guys, are gonna be like, man, fuck their homies first. Believe me, bro. When your friends get a real a serious relationship, them niggas is gonna disappear. It happens with girls and guys. Y'all are buddy buddy, but when somebody falls for some chick or falls in love or something, you're gonna be still buddies and you're gonna love each other, but it's the time is gonna ain't gonna be as much time. You know what I'm saying? Your friends are coming first, but when they get some some girl, they you gonna be trying to hit them up and be like, come spend time with what's her name, or they gonna be trying to do funny stuff. So, you know, just like I like I was telling the other person before, focus on yourself. Um, meet people. You're trying to avoid contact. You can't avoid that. You avoid it, then then what? College is the time to have fun. Have fun. Don't don't avoid whatever the the uh, opposite of avoiding is. This don't a, be insecure, man. Yeah. Just, just not give a fuck. Um, don't come on too strong. Just be yourself and just be like a friendly guy, you know. And don't try to fall for every girl. And don't think that every girl that's smiling or laughing with you likes you, because then you'll find out the hard way. Just do you, man. Don't 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 stress it. But the friend thing, take that in advice, like, cause uh, when they get girls, they're not gonna they're gonna disappear on you. Like they're gonna be your, they're still gonna love you and be your friends, but they're gonna they're not gonna be around as much. They're not gonna hit you up. They're not gonna they're gonna be busy doing. You know, everybody's like that's how it is, bro. So yeah. How, how many minutes were we at right now? Fifteen. Thirteen. Okay, good. We, we're moving pretty fast. Nicholas Smakula. Hey, Tony, some girl I've been talking for a long time. We like each other, but some kid came to the school that was her ex. He took her from me. She said that if it doesn't work out with him, she is going to get... Still got me, basically. She put on me. No. I don't even want to finish her. Fuck that bitch, bro. When, Okay, let me just tell you what you could do. You could either say, fuck that girl, or you could just smile. like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to play a clip. I'm going to play... A, no, what? Fuck, I won't play the clip. But you could just smile. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's cool. And then when she, when that nigga do that to her, you hit it and quit it, bro. Don't stay with her. That's disrespect to you. That's that's disrespect to your morals. She's disrespecting your morals. Fuck that side shit, that rebound shit. Fuck that. No, I don't accept that. Nick, Nick, don't I, Nick, do not do that, then, bro. Honestly, I'm looking at you right now. Don't fucking do that, Nick. If you do that to me, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be hurt if you let that happen. Don't. Cut her off. It's over. Fuck that. Fuck that bitch. Please, okay? Please. Hit it and quit it, if anything. Please, okay? Nick, I'm talking to you. TYBG Danny. Nick, I'm talking to you, bro. TYBD. 
TYBG Danny, man. Tony, my dude, my science class got new science seats. I sit in a group of four. I ate one of those bitches' pussy, and I got some strokes in another. What would Tony do? <laughs> I would smile all day. I just look at both of them and smile. Just, hey, what's going on? Do they? If they know, it's even more funnier. I mean, I don't know what you want. What you what you want to do? Do what you want to do. If you want to, I keep it cool. You did. You already did what you had to do. The smile. That's all. Nico Jones. Yo, I'm in high school, Tony. You said walk around smiling with track girls, but I don't know how to change my face when I'm in public. Like I'd be having that straight face, but please help. I need girls. <laughs> Bruh, you don't force the smile. I mean, just talk to your friends and laugh. Find things that are funny. That I'm pretty sure there's funny stuff that goes on in high school all the time. I mean, I was having college. I wasn't. Ha I wasn't laughing as much. High school, I was laughing all the goddamn time. Water balloon fights, food fights. I was doing a lot of crazy stuff, man. Just find things that are funny. You know, let your... I think that the straight face thing is something like you trying to... Not you, like, personally, but everybody, when they walk around, they're just trying to put a look on, you know what I'm saying? Like, because if you're that mad or that straight faced, then you, you're lacking emotion. You, that It's just showing how you are that obviously you don't... You're not enjoying something. So why would anybody want to be with you or hang with you if you if you have that look you know what i'm saying if i'm a poor ass motherfucker and i'm like if i'm walking around my shirt's torn up and i'm like yo what's good you too tony d in it bit and i'm like oh fucking dirty y'all niggas ain't gonna watch me what the fuck do i what am i how can i offer you any shoes if if i'm showing you shoes that are broken and just like somebody sat on it for 70 years you know what i'm saying like it's all about how you present yourself not just not talking in a big cocky way but I mean, if, if, if we all could, if every, if I was able to hang out with all you guys, so most of y'all would want to hang out with me because you y'all fucks with me. You know what I'm saying? That's how you gotta look, make yourself look. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people I see on Instagram. You know that I'd be like, damn, that's a cool dude. I could fucks with him because I see how he moves like me. You know what I'm saying? So make yourself like you know how you are. You know yourself. So let that be expressed to other people. Don't cover it up because then they're not gonna see it. So yeah, soul power. Have you ever fell in love? Well, wow. Have you ever fell in love with the right person on the wrong time? Can't really say if I fell in love. I mean, I've liked and tried to talk to the to the to the right person at the wrong time. That happens. We're at what? That's fine. We're gonna go to about twenty anyway. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Basically, something similar to that. Yeah, that happens all the time. That happens all the time. Uh, just gotta keep it moving, man. Honestly, you just gotta keep it moving when it comes to that that type of shit. Daniel Z, well, how many more we got? We got oh, we got a fucking lot. Holy shit! It too nah. Fuck, keep what was your very first sneaker that got you interested in the sneaker community? Oh, sno <laughs> um, sneaker community. I mean, I always like shoes. Um, I could say, like I said, the Jordan Eight playoffs was a one that got me into sneakers. Like recognizing shoes, but the shoe that got me into the YouTube, into the all this stuff, Toro Fours was the one that did it for me. You know what I'm saying? I started getting serious about it. Ashley Beckford, yo Tony, do you just pick clothes and brand, pick clothes and brands that you like and create your own dress sense, or do you look up the celebrity dress sense and try to update, try to keep up to date with? with no, nah, I don't. I don't look at that. I just I don't even go by brands all the time. I, I'll get something that looks good. You know what I'm saying? Like some of these brands, I'll be picking that. Like for instance, this is by a brand called Royal Army. The tag looks gay. The tag looks lame. It's like a silver tag, a gold. Tag. It looks lame, man. But it's an awesome shirt. The shirt is sick. The shirt is sick. I'm not looking at that brand though. I don't know. I know I've never heard of this brand. The shirt is sick. The shirt's all in here that you know. I don't look at the brand stuff no more. I go with what looks nice. You know. I'm liking, I don't care no more about brands. Max B. Free Max B, man. Hey, big bro. Fan of the videos, but I got. I, got, I kind of got a problem. I dated this girl for about a year, and over the summer, she cut things off of me. Since then, we've been on and off like twice, and it never lasted when we tried. I really cared about her and loved her, and now she feels the same way about me, but every time I try to move on and hang out with another chick, even a friend, she texts me on some bullshit like that. I did something wrong, and she ain't out with dude, and I don't say shit, I don't want to hurt her feelings or anything, but at this point, it's just annoying, can you help me out, thanks, yes, I can help you out, move on, yeah, she's doing, if you're letting her, if you're cool with what she do, but she not cool with you, no, move on, homie, 
Just move on. She want to be your friend? Be your friend. If you can't do that, then fuck it. Just move on. Joe makes videos. I'm in high school and there's a chick and I'm into. I'm pretty sure she has some interest in me, but we're not really in many classes and she hangs out with a whole other, whole other group of people at lunch. What's the way to, to get to talk to her without making her feel creeped out on some shit? First, you get a lot of eye contact. See what she's looking at you. Like you, if you feel like she's into you, then then you already you need to go ahead and make that maneuver. Best time to make maneuvers is in the morning time or the afternoon when it's time to get on the bus, in my opinion. So yeah. Make the maneuver. Make the move. Steven Ray. Sup, Tony. I'm 17 and can't find a fucking job for shit. I filled out about 50 apps and only got one interview over only to get not to get the job. What do you suggest to do to get some extra cash for the upcoming 2015 releases? <laughs> if you ain't got if if you ain't got no job, bro, you got other things to worry about. I wouldn't worry so much about the shoes, but for job purposes, you got the winter right now, the fall. Uh, I don't know if it's probably you can't really re uh, rake no more leaves. Maybe if there's somebody who needs to rake leaves, do that, you know. And then um, for the summer, you got that summer is popping with lawn and landscaping. Easy way to make money. Old people want to help you out. I used to do uh, people's front and backyards for fifty bucks, and that took like an hour. I mean, like. That's that's what I'm trying to tell you to do. Do that, bro. I'm trying to tell you. And ask your parents. Can I help you? Can I do something? Give me some money. Pay up. You know, your uncles, whatever. It's ask people that they'll understand. Don't worry. You got to make a job for yourself if you can't find one. Alice Watson. I have a lazy eye. People constantly try to talk shit. What should I do? I'm thinking about just wearing shades. Thanks, thanks if you get this. Hey, man. I got a lazy eye, too. I don't really fucking care. It, my shit gets lazy sometimes. I don't know which one it is, but it, it dies. That's, I never even, I don't even see how that's crazy. It looks like you're cool. It looks cool to me. You have a lazy eye, like you just don't give a fuck. You're just like, you just geeked or something. I don't know. I Don't wear shades, bro. You're straight. I don't, mm. Would you let a bad bitch give you top if she ain't had no teeth? Granny gums? Granny gums? <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably have to let, I have to try that to see how that is. That'd be weird, but I have to try it. Yeah, she bad bitch. Yeah, we can get her some, some uh, veneers or some shit. Fuck that. Hell yeah, let a bad bitch give me some brain with no teeth. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the title. Would you let a bad bitch give you give you top if she had no teeth? I like that. Angel Ortiz, what's up, Tony? I'm in high school and I'm basically I get I get basically all the bad bitches, but there's this one girl that I mess around with and but I really like her, but she doesn't give me she doesn't seem the same way even though I flirt a lot with her and she does it back. If she flirts with you, then how you don't see you how she don't see you the right way? Hmm? Maybe she's just trying to be difficult since you're getting all the bad bitches. So, you know, keep playing with it. Everybody likes a challenge, and that's probably why you like her even more, because she's a challenge. She's not as easy as the other bitches, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, where we at now? 23, but it's starting to get blurry and blink fast as fuck. Blink fast? Yeah, it's blink fast as fuck. All right, hold on, hold on. Stop it. All right, guys. Um, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. The camera is going crazy. It's 20... We're at 23 minutes. That's a long fucking time. Leave your question, your your, your new questions below. I'm gonna shout out the other people and let you know that I saw your um your question and, and what I probably do, I'll go and actually answer those questions for you in the comp on your comments within the next one or two days because I don't want to kill you guys. Um, and let me, I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys' names that I did not answer. Um, Ricardo Diaz. Gibson McNamara, Golden Lynx, Andy Guerrero, Quez the God, Ebony803, Protec428, and Yak, Yak Town's Finest411. I see you guys' com uh, comments. I'm going to go and answer those now or within the next day. So thank you for, uh, for asking those questions. Guys, leave new questions below. And um, yeah, man, I'll see you guys in the next video. 2015 we're in the fucking building january 7th i'm making a trip to montana so i see you guys there in montana <laughs> i'm leaving though in january 7th i'm going somewhere i gotta do some things but uh hopefully we'll get some videos out while i'm out there it'll be pretty interesting um yeah guys and um i was trying to do the giveaway on this on the uh, fours i'm i don't think i can get my hands on them because they're seeming real limited now so Giveaway is coming soon, and it might be on the, the Oreo Force because I can do that. So just stay tuned on that, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, you comment, and subscribe. Follow me on IG, Twitter, and Facebook at TonyD2Wild. 
And I'll see you guys on the next video. It's your boy Tony D2Y checking in, checking out Dr. Two Wild in the building. The news is coming soon. Peace.